engine motor running. Uh, turn that down. Alright, this is probably going to be like the last video I do on 98 BHPs. I got plenty of them. I'm not sure if I got one with the amp switch on the front. But, you know, I do the videos when they come in. I do the videos of the people that have already done videos of the radios. You know what I mean? Tune-up reports, etc. So basically, when I'm done, you know, a video, they're all, if you notice, they're all the same. And that's what we shoot for is the standard. They're not all going to be identical. But a fingerprint tune, like a fingerprint, yes. Turn that down a little bit more. All right, wide open, 98 BHP. Now this is a new one. Okay, it's the newest version. It's a new 98. Doing pretty good. I'd run it half on this power. I got the power, it'll go pretty darn low, okay? Really, really low. It's a 500 watt plug, as you can see. I really wouldn't run it much more than, you know, halfway. I'll show you the math again. Maybe put a link below how to calculate the actual power a radio really does, because yes, every single watt does matter. It does. Alright, so is that 35? Let's get things in the scope here. The scope of things. Looks like 140, right? Lower down. Well, let's 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 do a little bit of math. Oh my god, a little over 50. Continuous. When you see this, let's get that calibrated in there. When you see that, kill that sound. When you see what you're looking at, now you can use a meter. And the power that you're looking at on the meter, this meter, this sampler, all the certifications, you can count on these watts. So what this radio is actually doing is 50 continuous watts. Just there's, you can look at it, count it up, all kinds of goofy ass ways. The rock solid scientific ways 50 continuous. Right. So yeah. Yes, it's maintaining. Everything's working. Let's see where I got the switches here. Power. As you can see. Everything working accordingly. Cover one more thing here. Now you see the meter again. All of my radios, if you, the end user, follows directions, you have my coax and stud and listen about the grounds and the voltage and drop. When you look straight at the meter, you'll see that it's right at the edge of the nine every single time. Okay? So let's go to half power, turn the amp off. You obviously seen that. You guys that have had my radios, had my radios, and antenna systems and followed directions, you know damn well you could talk a long ways at just a couple of watts. And get over some people at a truck stop if you actually tried, you would, with four, five, ten times the power. But not everybody. If they got their ducks in a row, you're not going to. Because cleaner's meaner. There's no substitute. So uh, let's take a look at it now. And you can see, well, because it's a MOSFET, not bipolar. Is it perfectly linear? The input to the output proportional to the signal I just showed you? Slightly less. MOSFETs operate a little bit different. They don't push the signal quite the same. But it's pretty damn close. 
So let's pop the 500 out. Put this in. By the way, here, here's a, an analogy. These are the watts that you can weigh, like on a certified scale. Not some hocus pocus scale, you know, like three card money. And they try to show you one thing, then something else, and then something else, and then try to give you a hocus pocus story. You'd be able to weigh this stuff. Does every ounce matter? It does. So does every pound. And does it matter out there for distance? It does. And heat also, amperage, draw, etc. Alright, so that's a 50 watt plug. Oh, and by the way, you know, each radio, they're not going to be exactly the same. They're going to vary a little bit. Not much. A little bit. So this one's like one tenth of a watt. All the way down. Okay. And uh, one, two, three, four. Does it look like a camera? One, two. I get you in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So if you had to be like up against the guard shack, you know, and talk to him crystal clear, you can. You can. And say half power. If you were running down the road, bucket mouthing with your, you know, buddy or your friends, you know, all, an all nighter, whatever you're doing, man, whatever. You'd be able to do this and not get nothing hot. Yeah, it's sporting a max mod also, so everything's gonna run cooler. Right? Kind of cool. Huh? I'm gonna show you something here in two ways: amp on, amp off. And you hear me talking about 100 continuous, right? This is 50. How do we get that? If you're really curious, I have explicit videos on that topic. But for this radio, for instance, that carrier is like three watts, right? And almost four wide open. Almost. Yeah, four watts. Straight up is like three. And three watt carrier is doing like what? 13 and a half. Alright. Call it 14. Oh, let's look at the, the continuous power. Almost five. Like really close. You're splitting hairs, you know. Five watts. So call 14. This drives me nuts when people say, oh, it's peak. Well, what's the difference? Is it peak or is it PEP? -E right? I mean, big difference. You know, usually if they don't know the difference, it's the first sign you should, you know, find someone that's qualified. Well, so that's 14 PEP -E divided by 2 to uh, come up with, you know, your peak. Once you have your peak watts for continuous power, it's times 0.707 equals see, 5 watts, right? That's your power. That's the usable power at the fundamental frequency, 3 kilohertz either side of, you know, from splattering. And the peaks and the frequency response is your amplitude sound quality, but that is your power. They can't show you this. They have some screwed up scales, okay? Alright, so a little bit ago we showed this thing doing 50 continuous. Here, let's do it again. There, we'll put the 100 in. We'll just turn this down. And we'll wind it up to 50 continuous. Okay. So what do we got? It's like about 45. All right. Well, 
wrong one, I'm sorry. Too many of these things are out here. Put this one back where it belongs. Put this one back in. That's actually a high carrier. It's almost wide open. Now let's take a look at the PDP. So that's 150. So 150 divided by divided by 2 equals, we know that is 75 times 0 0.707 angular degrees or RMS effective power equals okay see it? camera's picking that up or not so this can easily do 50 continuous let's see what it does with some voice wide open audio six seven eight nine ten audio one two three four five yeah so you see the peaks up around two and a quarter that's just the meter when they're going audio showing the 250 it's a crock of shit getting everything else perfectly balanced is the key the sound the waveform how wide it is all right. So you, a lot of you guys hear me talking at 100 CW or 100 continuous, which is twice the power as this, or like my C4, or like the triple X. The different people ask me all the time, which one, which one? These suck on sideband. They'll work. The newer ones are doing much better than the older ones. A real C4 with actual real. Toshiba 2079s, they'll do like 115 continuous. You'll see some guys pushing them, but I mean, that's where you might as well push your car off the bridge, you know, and let it sink. But 100 continuous is fine, it's like 75 watt carrier, 78 modulated. So these are about half. The uh, N4s, they'll do 100 continuous pushing it. 75 80 watt carrier is all you really want. But it's twice the power drawing the same current. You know, the same wires, same plug, because it's MOSFET. And they're cleaner, they're more linear, because they are IRF, RF, bipolar, multi-mode, self-biasing transistors. They don't require as much drive or as many stages. Uh, the receive is better than 120 dB down. Yes, it's my receive and the A up, etc. Uh, to listen to them up close, that's you know how that goes. It's really not accurate to do it this way. It needs to be a line level over the airways. But let's see, one TV part five. That's using this one right here, 7810. Audio. We're still clear. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's be cool, man. Let's give it some echo. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, crystal clear, articulate. Not that old fuzzy sound, right? Get rid of the echo. I just like a little bit myself, man. But anyways, pay attention. And start, you know, you don't have to wonder. It just <laughs> I see this hocus pocus bullshit watts, man. It's all right in front of you. Every bit of it. I believe you know who this is. You get the coax, the stud, the bracket, speaker mic. Yeah, I was hoping to get it out Monday. You know, other stuff showing up Monday, but the post office was closed Monday. You know how that goes. So I'm days behind. We're catching up on stuff slowly but surely. I do like the new ones much better than the older ones. And I can make the older ones a lot like this. If they've been hacked up, I'm not interested. You know, 
a lot of people think that a technician has to work on their stuff. We decide what we want to work on. Alright? So no junk or stuff that requires any extra time. Time's the killer. You know, it'd be cool. You learn something, smash that like button, click subscribe, make a comment. You know, it'd be cool. It's hard drive. This tiny little mud duck station down by the Rio Grande. I'm gone. Click, click.